Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance video today. Today what I wanted to do is bring you guys a list of five fragrances, five masculine classic cheap fragrances. Cheap is in price, but very high on quality. These are fragrances that you can still get today, and these are fragrances that are not going to cost you a lot of money at all, but are awesome picks in my opinion, and I think you guys will enjoy. So before we jump into the list, as always, if it's your first time to the channel and you enjoy what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button and support the channel. Also, if you have an Instagram, go ahead and check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel. Photos of fragrances from my collection, and actually what I've been doing recently, uh, and I think I'm going to continue to do it, it's a lot of fun, and, and you guys seem to, to enjoy it, is post a story on the Instagram of the Sense of the day, what I'm wearing each day, um, and you can check that out all in the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page, but let's take a look at this list. All right, guys, so the first one on this list is from the house of Jacques Bogart, probably like my gateway fragrance into uh, the house of Jacques Bogart before I got into some other ones. It's the original one-man show, uh, the 1980 Shepra fragrance. It's um, just iconic. You know, it's a little polarizing. I think a lot of people either really love it or they really hate it. There's really no in-between. Me, I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, the scent opens up with a very sharp green pine woodsy note, and then it dries down to a really nice soapy fragrance. It's long-lasting, it's masculine, it's a quintessential 80s fragrance, and I really enjoy it. And it can be had for, I believe, around $15, and it still is very long-lasting. You should absolutely check it out. It's my favorite from the One Man Show line. This one, and then uh, I would say Oud after that. But I've talked about this one before, but I always like to shed light on it because I feel like sometimes it gets passed over. And, you know, I've actually put a decent dent in this bottle, and I've been wearing it more often. And um, this is one that I definitely want to highlight. It's an excellent, inexpensive classic men's fragrance. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list is from the house of Bijan. It is the 1987 release of Bijan Man. This is an extremely inexpensive, really masculine, really strong fragrance. It has notes of honey. It's got leather, musk, oak moss, spice. It sort of reminds me of a little bit like um, Hugo Boss number one. But this fragrance is very strong. It's very long lasting, perfect for the cool weather. Uh, you know, but again, I don't really care about the seasonality as much anymore. If it smells great, I, I want to wear it. And this is one that you can get for a really good price, but it's an excellent value. And it was said to be the fragrance signature scent of Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day. I've read that. Stallone aside, um, Arnold, man, I mean, he's the man. I grew up watching him, you know, Commando, Predator, obviously the freaking Terminator. And I think it's funny that he wore this scent. And you can, I can, I can see it. It's, it's extremely strong, spicy, warm, and it projects and it lasts a long time. Um, so this is Bijan Man again, 1987, Amber Fougere, very inexpensive. Definitely check it out. Yo, could you guys imagine if Arnold did fragrance reviews? He'd be like, yeah, how are you? Welcome back to Fragrances with Arnold. And today we're looking at Bajan for men. It's a, a fantastic fragrance. It's classified as an aromatic fujala. <laughs> anyway, just buy it, do it. Come on, what are you waiting for? It's fantastic. I love it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll be back. I'll... Right. So moving on to fragrance number three, we're going to take a look at the 1985 release from Roger and Galay. It is... Open, the original Open. So this fragrance, um, you know, I got it, I reviewed it, I wore it, I really liked it, and then I wore it again recently, and it just blew my mind for the second time. This scent is so good. It opens up with this insane, strong, smoky, infused wood and citrus, like citrus that's been next to a fire. You take orange and lemons that's been sitting next to a campfire for a while, and you squeeze out the citrus juice, and that smokiness comes into play along with the woods. It's spicy. The dry down is amazing. It's got really, again, woody, almost spicy cinnamon dry down uh, along with tobacco. It's extremely long lasting, can be had for $21. I see so many eBay sellers. And again, these aren't just private sellers. These are fragrance companies that sell on eBay, selling this for around $22. Absolutely check it out. The Flanker Open Black is also amazing. I've done individual reviews on both of them. Last year, Open Black, I felt like got a, 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 some hype, not only from me, but from a few reviewers around. I know Mr. Miami Cuddles talked about it. He really enjoyed it. I love that one, but don't forget the original. And, uh, you know, I, I really like it. And again, for the price, you can't beat it. Woodsy, smoky, I sprayed it on. The dry down is really where it's at with this fragrance. The opening is a little harsh, but that's that's just the way it is with fragrances back then. And it's extremely long lasting and for an excellent price. That's opened by Roger and Galay. All right, so the fourth fragrance on this list is just an example of what a classic, inexpensive, high quality barbershop fragrance is. The German fragrance from the house of Maurer and Wurtz. It is 
to back original, and this is the Eau de Toilette. So the Eau de Cologne came out in 1959. I'm not sure when this one came out. I believe it was, you know, years later. Um, I actually prefer the Eau de Toilette better. The Eau de Cologne is a little bit more floral, still really nice, but this one is uh, spicy. It's got that talcum powder barbershop mixed to it. It's extremely inexpensive. It can be had for like 10 bucks. It's long lasting on my skin. And it's got hints of the musk. It's got green notes in it, the spiciness, the barbershop powder. It's just extremely simple and clean. That's a perfect way to describe it. Uh, they have every matching product under the sun. You can get the aftershave, the balm, the deodorant, the deodorant spray, the shaving cream. I have that all, the body wash. But just get the fragrance itself. It's not going to cost you a lot. You're really going to like it. And if you're a fan of aromatic fougeres, if you're a fan of barbershop fragrances and you like that classic feel, but something clean, that'll garner confidence. My girlfriend loves this fragrance. And uh, she says it smells really nice nice and I just think it's something for the price you cannot beat and I really enjoy it again this is the eau de toilette this one is greener it's a little more masculine in my opinion and that's why I really enjoy it and it's so inexpensive this is definitely one to check out all right guys the final fragrance on my classic but inexpensive and high quality list is going to be Giorgio for Men by Giorgio Beverly Hills. This is a 1984 release. This stuff is so nice. It's my scent of the day. I shaved, I have the aftershave, the aftershave bomb. I'll definitely put a picture up on Instagram for you guys to check out. I'll apply some more here. You can't go wrong with this stuff. I was lucky enough that last year, the owner of the company that I worked for who used to wear this in the 80s and it was his signature scent, this is all he had. He, he bought like a case of it and he went through some of them, but he still has a lot left over. Uh, and I guess he stopped wearing fragrances. He said he doesn't really wear cologne anymore, but he gifted me this bottle and it's a vintage one. You can see the difference in the juice and it is so high quality and it lasts so long and it smells so nice. It's aldehydic in the opening along with this fresh orange peel and then musk and like with a honey dry down. I really, really enjoy this one. It's it's spicy, ambery in the, in the dry down too and it lasts a long time. Um, this is one that, you know, is still made today. The newer version has a kind of a greener tint. And from what I hear, it's still excellent. It still lasts a really long time. It's still very strong, just like this one is. Again, I kind of uh, was gifted this, so I'm lucky to have it. I did track down the aftershave and the aftershave balm, and that's what I used. And, and those really pushed the performance. But this stuff lasts 12 hours plus. I noticed this stuff on me the next day. Again, this is my skin. That's my experience wearing it. Not sure how it's going to be for everybody else. But you can get this one now, the, the current formulation, again, which I hear is still excellent for around $12 to $15. So all of these fragrances on these lists are, are really inexpensive and extremely high quality for the price. But this one in particular really stands out and I really enjoy it. And I put a decent dent in this one. But it's the only bottle I have too. So again, I sort of want to use it sparingly. Uh, but when I do wear it, I really enjoy the scent and it lasts a long time. All right, guys, that was the list. Those were my five picks for inexpensive but high quality classic men's masculine fragrances that you can still get today. So let me know in the comment section, what are your five picks? Do you agree with these? Do you do you enjoy the ones that I picked out? Do you think that there's ones that um, you know I should have put in the list? There are so many. It was very hard to pick, but I just wanted to get ones that you know I haven't talked about in a while. And I think these were, there were good choices for the list too. So again, I always appreciate all the interaction in the comment section. And thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time in the next video. Take care.